think this could be taking notes. And then I'll probably be, if there's like something that I want to circle back to that we're enjoying talking Great. about. Okay. We're already recording also, by the way. Oh, Everything's no. already started. Horrible. <laughs> we're already in it. Great. I have like a few minor suggestions, like just areas to talk about in okay. my phone. It's the weirdest year <laughs> I've ever been in I my life. Them, right? Like what's happening? Wait, there's a funny. Who decided? <laughs> Ari liked these. No, so Ari actually. <laughs> Why is lifting up right now? Like, right guys, as you said that. Like, this is not promising for, like, a I successful like, podcast. I feel like I'm a Mr. Toast. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's like on Haunted Mansion when, like, the seats go back. Is there a Haunted Mansion? That's literally what it is. Okay. I'm just getting my bearings. Yours is the like, same as mine, I hate right? it okay. so much. So there's actually a story behind these. Um... Ari goes to uh, also Ari is my boyfriend. It's like oh, are we? Yeah. We're recording. <laughs> We're recording. <laughs> can can um, I lower it? Like oh, okay, amazing. <laughs> I just lowered and I'm I'm set. I'm happy. But this feels like a baby's um, like a crib that you, I don't know. Like one of those chairs okay. yeah, that they yeah. like. This is this is supposedly. I know it's like it feels horrible, and I agreed. That's why I don't have one of these. But this is designed by a chiropractor <laughs> for writers. So that oh, you wow, have like that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good, right? Um, and I went to that chiropractor who was like insanely overpriced because I was having a neck issue, and he's, uh-huh. he tried to sell this chair to me. And then I realized, oh, he designed like he de- I, at first oh. I thought he was just like suggesting a chair, and then it's like, oh, do- no, you designed it. I like, don't love that. <laughs> yeah, it's me like when you go to I don't do facials, but like if you go to a you know what are they called esthetician? Yeah, and they're like use this line of products, and it's just theirs. Their, their <laughs> name on the side of okay. an ointment. Cool. Yeah. Is this the first one you've done? First one. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. So actually, story behind this, Brian has helped me do. <laughs> oh god, is the right reaction um but brian has helped me do like i think we've done six episodes before okay just kind of as we're forming the podcast and figuring it out but they were all like call-ins like i basically posted a phone number like a google drive google drive phone number yeah google drive phone number google voice phone number thank you and had people like call in that's pretty cool yeah and because we at first i was like "Eh, i want to i want to talk about eating disorders and i Mm -hmm. had six great conversations with people about eating disorders but thought kind of like oh i think maybe that's a little too narrow of territory right how much can one talk about eating disorders it's you know it's kind of excessive yeah um so wanted to kind of like broaden the scope of the podcast and figured a good place to start was just having fun conversations with people who i feel like i actually have fun conversations with and you're at the we'll see top what happens of the today. we will see what happens today <laughs> but i feel no but i do feel like you and i always have very yeah. honest conversations no that's true even our like worst conversations are still better than the conversations that i have with pretty much anyone else right well because i think i think a thing an area that i feel like i really connect with you so deeply on is like the desire to be honest about uglier truths in an attempt to, like, get somewhere, to further our lives, to, like, grow, because I think, I don't know. Yeah, I think talking about everything makes it have less power, which we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Like, naming the thing that you're embarrassed about or that you're ashamed of. Right, Um, right, right, right. And I think what's been really helpful in our friendship is that we're ashamed of a lot of the same stuff. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's it's healthy that we just, like, we'll say something, you know, gross or ugly that we think, and then we'll just get such a, like, an affirmation from the other person, like, yes, I feel that too, so then maybe... Sure. We feel less alone, but I don't know if that's good. Well, actually, I have a thought on that, because I think, I think what we do, and correct me if you, if you think that this is not the kind of conversation that we're having, <laughs> but I feel like it's, you get the, we get the validation or oftentimes give each other the validation on the, on, you know, when we say a truth that's like an uncomfortable truth, but then it's, it's always in an attempt to go somewhere with it. It's never like it's like if I say, oh, you know, we're, today we're going to be talking about jealousy. So if I say, oh, I'm super jealous of this person right now, or, oh, I'm jealous that this happened, and I don't, it's always like, what do I do about it? Right. Where do, how do I solve this? How do I move past this? Or how do I use this to inform the way that I want to be in the future? Yeah. It's like using, using where you're at now to get to where you want to go, as opposed to just like, well, I'm jealous about this, and that's completely right, and <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, no. fine. Right. Do you know it's, what I mean? It's never like us being like, oh, that's great. In fact, why don't you like dive deeper into that <laughs> jealousy and maybe make it even more toxic? Yeah, to just pile it um, on See thicker. how it can ruin your life even more than it already has. <laughs> um, no, I think it's, it's, it is always like uh, figuring out why. I think what I find interesting is like figuring out why the source of the, the gross thought. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. And like the yeah. manifestation of it physically. Yes. Um, yeah. Because 
once again, I think I just keep coming back to like, it just loses its power when you name it because it's stupid. Totally. I mean, I'm still waiting for mine to lose its power, but yeah, I think yeah, maybe yeah. the power is lessened a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I do think it's true that like you have to accept a thing before you can change it. And it's such like right. a ugh, th sentiment, but I totally believe in it. Um, I, a place where I wanted to start was like areas of jealousy. And if mm -hmm. you have, if you feel like, uh, you have particular areas of jealousy that it flares up more. Yeah, what that looks like for you. Um, yeah, I mean, my jealousy, unfortunately, comes up in relationships. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when I'm single, I am. It's smooth sailing. I feel so grounded. I feel so fantastic. Yeah. And then um, as soon as I care about mm -hmm. someone, something happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, I mean, I don't... I definitely get um, like envious of other people like succeeding, sure. but it's very fleeting. It's not something that like bothers me continuously. Right. Like if I right. see someone like books a job that I don't book, I'm yeah. like, well, that sucks for me, and then I move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. like, oh, just like knowing anything about the, it's I have jealousy with men. Like yeah. I, it, that's where it manifests manifests for me. But like knowing anything about. The guy that I'm seeing, like their past, yeah. any girl in their past, I, I break down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Um, and it, the hard part, which we've talked about, is like the beginning of a relationship where you're playing it cool mm -hmm. and you just pretend that nothing bothers you. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's sorcery, and I've convinced <laughs> so many people that I'm the coolest, most chill girl chill, ever. Laid back. Like, yes, yeah, talk yeah. about your past. Let's like. Dive, dive into it. <laughs> yeah, Literally. yeah, yeah. Um, flash forward like six months, and I'm like, well, do you remember when you were talking to Rachel on the 31st of May? Because I remember. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, yeah. Those receipts, they just, they don't go away. I can, I, mm. I forget everything except for the people that I'm seeing, uh, their past relationships. I know everything about them. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think it is, and I connect with you very much, as you know, on the like playing it cool and being the chill girl and being like the, the whatever. I'm like so laid back and easy <laughs> yeah. going and just whatever. <laughs> why, do you, why do you feel like you do that? I have some theories on why I do it, but I want to hear yours. Um, I think something that I really don't like is when a guy says that they have a crazy ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big red flag for me because I usually think, what did you do to make <laughs> yeah. her act the way that she acted? Yeah. So I think that I just want to, like, I think that I, I find um, that I, like, take the pressure of representing all women when I jump into, I, I'm, like, jump into a relationship. Oh I'm, like, I am oh my the, God. like, smart independent women I can be the face of mm -hmm. that brand mm -hmm. and so let me just show you how Fuck. how free and and nonchalant I am and and just how nothing phases me because because I think it's also that intellectually I know that jealousy is pointless mm. and as we've talked about it mm. pushes someone away yes so there's really right. no point to jealousy so I can understand that intellectually and I almost convinced myself for a while that I'm over it Right. Um, this time it's different. I have yeah. I have outgrown my jealousy. <laughs> yeah. It was like a thing from my early oh, 20s. Whatever. Yeah. That's what I always told myself. <laughs> yeah, um, I was like, 27. oh, it's just my high school relationship. <laughs> oh, just my college relationships. Oh, okay. It was just that person. That, yeah. They just brought it they, out in yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, something that really, oh, my God, the representing all women, that pressure. First off, I want to circle back to that in terms of like entertainment and film and TV <laughs> and <laughs> women-driven content versus male-driven content and why there is is that that pressure to have the subtext always behind a female narrative, like a birds yeah, of prey or yeah, whatever? Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, where it has about to like, the, the female yes, experience. Yes, yes. It always has to has to have this like deep rooted, like this undercurrent, this deeper message. Yeah. Whereas it's like, why can why why do men not have that? To have to do that. It's frustrating. Um, yeah. But we'll get there. But I definitely feel the same way. I feel like I have to represent the idea of the woman that I would like to be versus who I am. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like there's so much, I have a lot of shame about the jealousy that I carry. I have a lot of shame um, around things that make me angry. I would say mm -hmm. anger and jealousy are like the, the emotions that I struggle the most oh, with. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To like, both to regulate and also to 
just like come to terms with myself. Like it's it's just a, a battle of of that feeling of like I wish this wasn't a part mm-hmm. of me. Oh my god! Which then makes I it just worse. Want to surgically remove yes. the jealousy from my brain and just like go on without it. Yes, yes. Um, and when I say anger, it sounds it sounds explosive. My, it's very internalized. Oh, it's okay. very That's, yeah, yeah but maybe it's, worse. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, um, is not fun. But just like the physical reaction of anger, like the tense mm. mouth, the like heart beating, warm ears. I get. I um, get that with jealousy. I don't get mm, that with interesting. When I get jealous into like a jealous uh, mindset. It's so physical for me. Yeah. It's the hot ears. Like, why do my yes. ears get so hot? Burning. I feel like someone's, like, stepping on my chest. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, I'm almost, like, sh- like, ugh. Maybe that, it's, like, mm. it's, like, ugh. I don't, I don't know. I, but I feel it so physically. And sometimes, mm. um, like, recently, <laughs> I've been getting nauseous, which is, like, a new, fun um, Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and it, maybe it's because I've been, like, a drink in <laughs> sure sure, um, sure and I'm like oh this drink is going to exit my body as soon as he like starts talking mm-hmm. about this girl that doesn't matter <laughs> yeah do you find I I found uh I used to be a big old drinker I used to love mm-hmm. love me some drink I felt like that made things worse like I thought I, I found well so I found that I would drink to try to like quell the, mm-hmm. the emotions like oh if I drink I'll be I'll be more fun I'll feel things true? less it was not <laughs> okay. but I don't know why I continued to tell myself that that was the truth that is something that still I, I don't maybe it was get. you didn't have to feel it as like In I don't know yeah something. like when you're when you're uh, like mm. intoxicated it's just kind of like there's no consequences so feel like things feel like they carry less weight I think mm. um, so maybe that was like an easier way to experience the jealousy than being in your right mind where you're just like well this sucks right Um, I also wonder if on some level I was like oh this this is kind of an excuse well I was drinking mm, oh my god you know what I mean yeah I'm like so not I I drink like socially or whatever I don't even know what that means but I don't like getting drunk because I don't like puking Mm -hmm. um which is why we're not talking about eating disorders yeah yeah. um I just I hate it so much so Mm -hmm. I'd never like get to the point where I've had like two in my life, like yeah. drunk nights. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know why I brought that up. Oh, just that I, I don't. Uh, yeah, I've never been able to really say that um, the reason that I didn't that I did something is because I was drunk. Because was you just, weren't. Yeah, no, it <laughs> right. was just me. Right, mm, just full just me. throttle. You. I wasn't high. I wasn't drunk. Maybe I was a little tired, but yeah. no real excuses. Do you feel? Do you have shame around? around jealousy like is that something that you yes. feel and and is it so is it, it's something that you want to change then it's something oh my that, god yeah i so this is this is where okay i fucking i've worked so hard in therapy on specifically jealousy and mm-hmm. anger and i don't know it, it's like it gets a little frustrating to me the idea of like well once you're aware of it that's tr- not can, true. It's like I am <laughs> aware, right? You I couldn't see be this. more aware. It's glaringly obvious to yeah. me every day, um, and yeah, I wanted to talk to you about like, why, like, how do we change this? Where do we? What do we do? I think our conversations are helpful. Yeah, I was gonna say I felt less shame with my jealousy when I've started talking to you about it, mm-hmm. and um, in I'm like the current situation of the last week of my life where I've been hanging out with a, a guy from my past. Yeah. Um, I've been able to name it more with him, which has been so helpful mm. as opposed to like, I think in my past relationships, I pretended that I wasn't jealous. Like, right, I think I right. was just like, no, I'm not jealous. I just don't trust her. Oh my God. The narrative. Ah! Uh, of not uh, trusting the woman, which yes. is just so anti-feminist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah but like, yeah. it's 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 a like gross, manipulative <laughs> way to like release your partner from blame, so that you're like, oh, I'm not mad at you. Oh my god, you're like, perfect. you didn't do anything wrong, but <laughs> I know women. Which is just like when men say, um, boys will be boys, or like I know men, and I get so wow, angry at that. I'm wow. like, we'll be different. Wow. And then I put that narrative onto women, where I'm like, well, I know her, and the fact that she texted you this and this and this, wow. and liked this photo, and commented this means that she wants your she, body. So so okay. Oh my god. Um, I oof. I ignored your question about how do we get over it. I'm like, let me tell Let's you just- how it's never going to be something that leaves. <laughs> 
Great question. Um, Thank you. No. <laughs> it's going to be with us forever. Yeah. Um, no. I, so, so with the, oh my God, fuck. With the, with my boyfriend, Ari, I'm very honest about my jealousy and, and we have, he and I have really good conversations about it and, and he's well aware that it's something that I'm super working on. Mm-hmm. He's also just not jealous, which uh, I, a mystical creature. Don't understand where, how, what, what I are you talking about? I know a few about? of those. And then I perceive Oh my God, which I, fuck, I, there's so much to get into here, but I, <laughs> I, I perceive his lack of jealousy as not caring yes. about me enough. Oh my God. Why are you not jealous? Have Why you, do you not Have you me? ever had a partner be jealous of you? Oh or, yeah. Uh, be jealous with For, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, it's so funny. Yes. As soon as a guy starts being territorial with me, I am like, oh, okay, crazy. <laughs> Shut up. That guy is just my friend. If you don't want me hanging out with him, then we're over. Like the yeah, hypocrisy yeah, yeah. that like, yeah. oh, I, I, I like when a guy will, uh, like if we're in public and like, I don't know if a guy is checking me out, I like for my partner to like put his arm around me. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I can slip into this feminine like yeah. <laughs> um, trophy role or right, whatever, right. but that's where it ends. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm talking to another guy and they come up to me, mm-hmm leave I'm in the middle of a conversation (laughs) that's so rude but like high school me would if my boyfriend was talking to another girl I was right by his side Mm -hmm. arm around him Mm -hmm. maybe kissing him on the cheek Mm -hmm. maybe maybe glaring maybe just ripping the pants off (laughs) and sucking the dick (laughs) (laughs) no it's like it's it it really is it's so weird to me that it's like mm, I yeah that that I perceive that as not caring enough and and why? Oh, I guess I that's sort of the opposite. Uh, if, if, because if, oh no, no, I guess it's we're saying the same thing, right? Because if you're saying it when somebody is jealous and you're going, oh, mm, but yet also if they're not jealous, it's like why? why don't you care? Yeah, it, there's no way for them to win. They could never prove that they love me enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel the same way. And what? What yeah. is this lack? What is this void? What am? What am I trying to fill? What am I trying to prove? Why does? Why do I care? Did were you always honest about your jealousy with Ari? Um, no. So in the beginning I played, uh, first off, I was never honest about my jealousy, even with other people who were with, that I've been with in the past who were blatantly aware of my jealousy because it was evident every other day. Um, I'd be like, I'm not jealous. I don't know what you're talking about. Who is she? Why are you yeah, texting yeah, yeah, yeah. them? But I'm not jealous. I'm just You curious. can do whatever you want. Like if you guys want to hang out, like, I don't know why you'd want to hang out with her, but mm-hmm, you can. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So I played the cool girl role with Ari for a while. It was so obvious to me that he had an emotional awareness that I hadn't experienced with other guys that I'd been with, that it felt Mm -hmm. like a place that I could kind of explore those parts of myself in a good way. Like Mm -hmm. the way that Ari and I even have conversations is very like, well, let's pick this apart and let's explore this and let's like with no pressure to solve any well he's he's definitely we're both definitely problem solvers but when Mm -hmm. we're in the space of just like exploring an area it's more about the curiosity of it and um and we will ask each other questions that go that go to an interesting like he he and I have conversations similar to what my conversation our conversations Uh look like yours and mine um and I very much like that because it makes it less about, uh, like, blame. Yeah. And it's, you know what I'm saying? You're not in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. He's never like, oh, this, yikes. And that's you know? what's so scary. Like, the moment in a relationship where you realize that your jealousy has come out and mm. is now posing an issue and a threat to your relationship. Yeah. And it's all your fault. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it is all your fault. You know, like, right. if they're not a, a dick who's, like, purposely <laughs> flirting with other girls right, in front right. of you and cheating on you. <laughs> right. Um, that aside, when you actually do create it yourself, it's... I think that's one of the saddest moments. Even your philosophy on relationships, it's so different from mine. It's, like, fascinating to mm. me. Because you, you, correct me if I'm wrong, gravitate towards slash want at this time of your life an open relationship like that would be what you'd be open so to so my or no. <laughs> my dream yeah, yeah yeah is that and i do realize how unfair hypocritical insane absurd this sounds cool but in an Th- ideal that disclaimer world, can apply to our whole conversation yeah, okay, so let's yeah. just get that out there okay keep going my ideal relationship is that my partner only has eyes for me mm-hmm. only dates me mm-hmm. and i date any and everyone that I would like to lay eyes on. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Um, that would be perfect. Mm-hmm. I actually told the guy that I've been hanging out with, I told him recently <laughs> at dinner on Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, that's I great. I told him, yeah, in an ideal world. What a world, great Valentine's Day <laughs> aside. Well, it was kind of nice. It was kind of nice just being so honest to be like, I realize I'm fucked up and let me tell mm-hmm. you how fucked up. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would just work for me. Right, 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 right. Um, 
And I also do find that I, I haven't had like a real uh, girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but that when I've been with women, I'm not jealous. But I, I think it's so interesting, um, which like it's one of the most fascinating things yeah. about my jealousy is that like I just like girls as people mm-hmm. more, I think, mm. than I like guys if I'm going to be super general and just sure, like sure. – Say that I, yeah, I get yeah. along better with women. Yeah. Uh, all my close friends are women or queer men. Sure. Um, very few straight friends, uh, straight male friends. Um, and so I think I just like women more. And like mm. if they're into someone else, I'm like, that's cool. Yeah, she's hot. Like that's fun. Um, mm. But as soon as like a guy says that another girl is hot, I nothing feels worse. I don't yeah, know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, if I sure. know that that girl is hot, yeah. it's so sad to me because it immediately means that I'm not hot, mm. which doesn't make really any sense mm. because I understand that like beauty is so fucking subjective. Sure, sure, sure. Like I find, I don't know. I Such just, a like, range of, yeah. of people, of people, body types, everything beautiful. Exactly. Sure. And like I'm, I'm attracted to more like unconventional looking people. Me um, too. Yeah. It's just like more interesting. So it's so yeah. weird that, that I don't, that I can intellectually mm. understand that, but then not apply it. I don't allow the guy that I'm with to have that view. I don't even know if it, for me, I don't know if it's that I feel like, oh, I'm trash or like, oh, I'm, oh, he, th- he thinks this person's pretty. Therefore I'm not pretty mm. to me. It's almost like I feel heartbroken oh. that he can see somebody else and think yeah. she's pretty because I think like, I adore you. I love you. So I love you with every fiber of my being. Please don't look at anybody else. Please don't love anybody else. I love you. And and I think but that do also you look at other people and can of you course. Just, okay, cool. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. <laughs> no, but no, but but really, I think, and I and I've said this to Ari too. But I had there's there is that like, yes, I can see other people. Yes, I can say they're attractive. You know, of course. But I they, there's this thing that I have for who whoever I'm with at the time where I I it's it's so like romantic, hopeless, romantic, magical. As I've told you, it's like the idea of I just want to watch the Disneyland fireworks with yeah. this person for the rest of my life and hold hands and have this like very perfect love whatever the fuck that is I just feel like a relationship is so sacred sacred maybe that's the word mm-hmm. um where I just feel like that's what it should just be this like blessed union of two people and and that's that's so to foreign be. to me and I'm so <laughs> I jealous. can see it in your eyes I, no I'm so jealous of it because for me that seems so much more simple hmm. like if I could just find one person mm-hmm. and like be so committed to that and mm-hmm. like know that that's all I want mm-hmm. that would be that that would be incredible that's what I want Mm -hmm. and I keep on waiting to grow out of it and I'm hoping I do grow out of this you know uh, like it's such a cliche I feel like such a cliche like I was talking to the the guy that I've been seeing he literally told me I'm not allowed to give his name okay um so that's cool 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 Um, (laughs) he trusts me oh I lost my turn of thought um oh Oh. yeah (laughs) okay (laughs) so so I was saying I think it's very sacred you were saying it's very foreign to you Mm -hmm. that you that's completely unrelatable right oh I okay cliche great so I feel like a cliche we got there (laughs) Um, I feel like a cliche because um we were talking about why we didn't work out the first time that we took a swing at dating each other yeah and he was saying that he felt that he had made me feel trapped Mm. or locked down god and how horrible he felt for doing that and then I was just like, why do I suck? Like, that sucks that I'm just this this archetype of someone who needs to be free it's and, like, can't commit. Like, that's so, ugh. I don't know. I just have so much more respect mm. for people who are just like, no, that's my person. It's weird because, e- you know, even though I know I know what I want and I know I want to be with somebody who's very much like, I want to commit and I want to, and just that mutual want, desire to commit. Mm-hmm. When I hear you say like, the, oh, I'm not ready to commit, my thought, my genuine first thought is like, oh, so fucking cool. Really? Oh my God, <laughs> jealous. Like the jealousy is coming up now. Yeah. No, yeah, and I've been you jealous know? of you having that <laughs> commitment, Jean. <laughs> That's it's just, crazy because there's something about the idea of like a not like wanting to avoid commitment. I mean, it's like John Mayer. It's just I'm, trying I'm to John else. Mayer. <laughs> she doesn't exactly what I'm saying. I John Mayer ten that. years ago, but no, just you oh, know, wait, hot. Yeah, yes, great, okay. right? John We're talking John Mayer and John Mayer's love it. Prime. Prime. It's like that feeling of of free bird like hmm. oh i you know i'm so cool i'm elusive i'm mysterious totally. now wouldn't you say that jealousy does not go well with that 
correct yes. so see i'm yes. not cool yeah, yeah, yeah. like i'm not this free mm-hmm. spirit i'm like please don't lock me down but also only have eyes for me and never look at anyone else <laughs> like it doesn't add up okay i guess i can see how it's and it's it's it becomes a predicament in terms of figuring out how to date slash how to form a partnership with somebody because it's yeah. how do you navigate these two kind of but i do so i do still have hope that like maybe i just haven't met the, the person yeah, yeah, yeah. who w- will make me want to commit. Mm. Um, interesting. You know? That you think it can be kind of a person who makes you. I think who makes so. I mean, like, flip. don't you feel like your relationship with Ari is just so different from anything you've ever had? For sure. And actually, I maybe I you might have asked Ari this in the past of like, were you did you feel like ready or like you're looking seeking a relationship or wanting a relationship? Uh, and he definitely he said no. Right? No. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was not. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> and you changed him. Uh, he couldn't help. I, well, I think I think that's a, da- a dangerous narrative too. Is the idea that I mean, obviously everybody's like, oh, you can't change a man, and everybody knows that. But there is still there's but this both part. You and I have. Oh my god! <laughs> right, and then it's like, what what kind of fucked up world is this? Where because then it feeds, it reinforces oh that god. for you. Where it's like, oh well, I can clearly because I did, and then it gives it what I call, I have this part of myself that I call the diva bitch, and oh. diva you, you know, and sure. diva bitch comes out when it's like, <laughs> I love your horror at the term. No, I have to just... I have to give it a hideous name so that I feel removed from it so that I can see it clearly. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. You're not no, on board. No, you no, are I not am. on I'm, board. I'm totally here for <laughs> diva bitch. Uh, I love it. I mean, it's you know what? It's a little diva. I don't know. It's just like it's kind of like middle aged woman <laughs> <laughs> jargon. <laughs> well, she's a diva bitch, a diva biatch. I feel like is what you should call her. <laughs> you know, I'm middle. Also, you know that I am practically middle aged. I go Me to you too. all the time. I'll be like, "What are you? What? What is this? What does this mean?" Oh you, my god! What? <laughs> no, I'm just everything. Jeanette always texts me and asks me what very basic lingo is. Like, what well, are like I- when you said, "Is it? I've been left on red or <laughs> on red?" Which you'd or have to unread. see that you'd have. Oh, unread. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. have I been left on red versus unread? And, it, and it, I don't even remember what it is. It's on red. Um, and it was the sweetest text that I've ever received. <laughs> I framed it. I was like, this is wholesome. I also asked you about, like, what is, uh, you, you said something, you sent me a, sk- a picture of something the other day from your Insta story that very much confused me, but that I was like, oh, I think I get what this is, even without asking. It was like, dra- I, I, we're getting dragged over here through, do you know what I'm talking about? Some sort of co-sign, you were talking about an app. Oh, co-star. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. love astrology. Yeah. And what was it? And you said co co star dragging dragging us oh, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Even me yeah, yeah, saying yeah, it, trying yeah. to say it now is horrific. Oh dear yeah, God, well, they were dragging okay. us. <laughs> Anyhow, what were you saying? Um, so so I was saying that <laughs> now I can never say the fucking diva bitch thing. Oh right, um, diva bitch. Maybe maybe I was gonna say that my that when my diva bitch comes out, she's like, oh, but you were able to to mm. change my, and that reinforces the idea that you can, which is I think so so absolutely legitimate use of the word toxic here not like why well, because i think that that's not what sh- i mean i fucking that's not even what the focus should be like mm-hmm. it should never be a, the goal should never be to change mm-hmm. a man it should never be an objective it should never be yeah. even a part of the conversation right. it's like figuring out you know if i were dating now i would be dating much more strategically than i had in the past of just like really in a non threatening way like fielding the person to see are we a good match yeah. is this a do oh we actually God. do you check some box like i'm talking a legitimate like dating plan pen and paper these are some boxes that i need checked and, and i get that somebody's not going to check all of them but do they right. check enough of my boxes and then they're also going to have their things that are that are a little obscure i'm going to have my things that are a little obscure our wants and needs are not always going to match up just because this person doesn't a hundred percent of the time meet my needs that it, that's okay and yeah. being okay with that as opposed to like well i need to get them to meet my needs because then that means that they care about me i just mm-hmm. I, I i'm so so mentally I've outgrown that narrative and I'm so ready to emotionally have outgrown it, but it's still a thing that I, that I work on getting, I, I'm, I'm actively working on getting my emotions and my emotional experience to match up to where I feel like I, I, I am firmly oh. mentally. I completely relate. To right. That. Well, that's just like being self-aware, right? So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. It goes hand in hand with that where yeah. you're like, I'm aware of what this is. This is what I want to do. But then you have that part of you that isn't ready to change. Mm-hmm. Um, and the part of me too that, oh, go ahead. No. I was going to say in, in another thing in, in, in therapy that, uh, and I'm a huge, I, I'm a huge fan of therapy. I think it's helped me more than anything in my life, but there are just some, a few qualms that I have with, or a few questions that I, that I'll actively ask in therapy of like, well, what about this? Um, and, and one of them being the idea that, okay. So it's like knowing that there are certain areas that are going to be 
in quotes, triggered more often than other areas and that those areas are particularly sensitive because of like childhood trauma, for example. Sure. So there's stuff that I deal with where it's like, okay, your mom trauma is getting triggered here. You're mm-hmm. whatever. Um, and a huge, a huge, fa- like I have some abandonment issues. Huge factor in those abandonment issues is like, which a therapist has told me is that my mom first had cancer when I was two years old. She mm-hmm. was in the hospital for months on end. Mm-hmm. And when you're two, you, you're obviously not developed enough to understand that mom's coming back and she's going to come back. And also that was not oh. a fact. Like, that was not necessarily happening. So there's a part of you that's not fully settled into like the, the development that you should be settled into that mom's going to be here for me and mom's going to be able to meet my needs. So then it creates problems later on in life. And wow. then when that shit's triggered, it's like, oh, it's your core trauma being triggered, right? Mm-hmm. I get that my core trauma is being triggered. I know. But when when has it been triggered in, in, in enough times and me being aware of it enough times that the core trauma button just isn't pushed anymore? I don't know if that happens. I'm, I, it's so irritating yeah. to me. And I think it, and I don't like that, that it, another, another, I feel like it's another area where it can just be a, an excuse oh, for I not, that. right? Or it's like, it's just I, a crutch. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm not, it, I am not okay with being like, oh. Well, this well, this just hits up on my my dead mom trauma, so right. that's why I'm. Th- it's like no, fucking get over your but shit. But maybe that's what that's the closest that you can get to getting over it is like that anger. Like I don't know. Sometimes mm. I feel like anger can be a good source of fuel. For sure. To just be like I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm not going. That's not gonna like it'll still hurt, but mm. it's not going to then negatively affect the choices that you make. I love that, and I and I do feel like I, I'm there now. I think largely because of the conversations mm-hmm. that we have, where I just feel like I I'm at this place where I, I think I, I actually think I'm done with my shit. I don't. An age is a thing for me. Where I'll be like, I'm 27. I'm not 21. Yeah. I'm not 18. Mm-hmm. I'm 27. Let's move yeah. past these these issues once and for all. I've done, and I also feel like oh, I've done the work now. I've identified everything. I've been in therapy for a long time. Like I'm ready to be the person that I want to be. And um, then you just get triggered and you feel held back. And then I get triggered. And then, and, and there is a lot of growth in terms of like the frequency that I am triggered or, or rather what I do with being triggered. Like right. Bef- and that's, right? that's what it is. Mm. Cause I, like we mm. said, like, I don't know if the triggers will ever go away, mm. but like it would be, and I've had moments like I'm not constantly consumed in like a jealous frenzy like I, that's not my right right that's not right. my like homeostasis. baseline that's like not where Same. I live of course of course of course um and I have had moments where I am triggered or whatever and then I'm just like I can't right now the you tired know? thing yeah like I think it even happened like today I like mm. could have said something that yeah. was snarky or this or that and I said well that would actually not be fun for either of us Mm. and so that felt like just like a small growth Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. of just being like oh I don't really need I don't really need to do it and I feel like I think sometimes I wonder if not to place blame on my partner at all because it's really not their fault Mm. but sometimes I wonder if like there was ever a guy who just wouldn't put up with it Mm. like I don't know if that would be better for me, mm-hmm. then having someone who's like, let's work on this. It's it's okay. It's just frustrating, you know, because I feel like I can get away with something, and mm. that's not doesn't that doesn't inspire me to change. change, right? So you're saying if it were somebody who would was just like, okay, bye, and broke up with Ugh. you or something, that would suck. That's Maybe that's what I need, mm. just to like lose a great one. Well, I don't want that. <laughs> you know, just like lose, lose the greatest love of my <laughs> life, um, and then you'll heal. And, but yeah. then like my ego gets in the way because I'm like. But there's so many good parts about me that they could never break up with me mm. just because of the mm-hmm. fact that maybe every so often something comes up that's upsetting. And do you, do you think that the that the jealousy? How how much do you think that it like interferes um, in in relations for you? Do you think that it's a is it is it sort of just like a side thing? Does it come up occasionally, or do you think that it's like no, this is a pretty pressing? It's not. Um, I, it's the biggest issue that I have, yeah. but it's not super present. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like... For sure. It's definitely like... Because I... When I... The relationships that I've had as an adult have been very, like, calm. Yeah. Like, I don't have tumultuous, like, fighting. Right, 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 right. Right. I, I've, like... Right. I've never really screamed at a... Runner. Right. Like, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. don't... Because I also don't get angry that easily, which mm. I don't know if that's... I don't know why, but I just, like, I think it's because I grew up in, like, a very loud family, so I, there was no way to compete. So yeah, I think yeah. I just am, like, I'm not really angered easily. So right. 
I think that that would be the only thing that comes up that is an issue. And in the past, it has been um, my high school relationship. It was a huge issue. Mm -hmm. um, and then with my main ex, it like was like a write off. But yeah, what I feel like high school is a write off. I know like, like it doesn't <laughs> count. Right. But yeah, that yeah. was what was upsetting because I remember I like identified my jealousy in my high school relationship. In Wow. Um, yeah, because I was like, well, this that's is horrible. But I think it's so um, impressive to be able to, instead of justifying it. Yeah, I guess so. But it was such an issue with my high school boyfriend. Um, and mm -hmm. I remember talking to my mom about it. And my mom told me, she was like, that'll ruin every relationship. Mm. There's no point in it. It's wow. just going to push someone farther away. If you keep someone on a short leash... They're going to, you know, resent you. And if they're going to leave, great. they're going to leave. Wow. And I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, that is horrible. Wow. Like, that's just not how I'm going to, like, I'm not going to, I can't just turn it off. But I definitely thought it was something I was going to grow out of. Um, yeah. That I yeah, just yeah. haven't yet. thought it was a phase or something. It's hilarious to me yeah. that your mom is able to... Hi to your mom, by the way. She's so great. Oh, yeah. She um, loves you. Oh, she's the best. So the fact that she's able to have those kinds of conversations with you of like, oh, jealousy, this is not going to be good in a relationship versus my mom who would be like, don't be in a relationship because you're mine. Like, oh, wow. she, her jealousy was oh, just, God. I was the, you know what I mean? My mom was definitely <laughs> like, oh, date everyone, live your life. Fun. Yeah, because oh, she, got, she met my dad when she was like 19, wow. like very young. Yeah. So I think that she's always maybe in, inspired me to have that sort of like free, free spirited, yes. cool thing. Um, wow. I just didn't, I didn't pick up on the no jealousy thing mm. but she had that like with my dad I like on their first date yeah they she or one of their first dates she was like at his house and then the date was over so she left and she got lost on her way home and yeah. needed to find a gas station so she went back to my dad's house to be like hey where's the closest gas station and there was and an orgy <laughs> I mean basically no by the time she got there he had another girl over <gasps> I know oh. and she was just like oh okay and like so she was just like oh what and she was like chill with it and i think that he just like loves this the fact player. i think honestly i think that my mom's lack of jealousy like was the best part of their relationship wow. it, it seems like not wow. that i know a bunch about it but like my dad was always working long hours and mm -hmm. was like never home and i just feel like for me i would be so freaking i would be freaking out all the time mm. but my mom was always just like well i trust him easy going and, and like, just that's insane do you think it was because she had such a full life because okay this is another thing is that like you and i have very full lives that men are not like the sole oh no focus no, of our just, lives yeah right we have a lot of other things that we can turn to siblings yes. whatever mm -hmm. um i was gonna say parents but i don't have those so. okay. <laughs> um but but so then this this like why men even why there is this jealousy thing doesn't even fully make sense to me because I, I would get it more if it was like, oh, this is the only thing oh, I have totally, going for totally. me. Yeah. This is, this is where every part of me is put into. And this is my, my like, mm -hmm. uh, what's that thing? That's purpose? From boat. Yeah. Like the lifeboat, like this, this guy oh, is my, my life, life vest. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> right. Yeah. Something like that. Um, but that's not. So I don't understand. So do you think that she was able to not be jealous because she had such, like, so many other things going for her? Or do you think it's just kind of her, or do you think it's think more it just, just a nature thing? I think it's just her nature. I think that, yeah. I literally think it's something you're born with. Like, two of my best friends are the least jealous people that I know. Yeah. I swear to God. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's mind-boggling. And sometimes, like, my, my best friend from high school, yeah. Olivia, like, I almost don't text her when I'm having jealousy issues because she doesn't get it. She won't even understand. She's just like, um, what? Like, mm. she does not care. And, like, I'm so jealous of that. I'm mm. so jealous of someone <laughs> yeah, yeah. who's not jealous. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think it's something that, like, is innate. Because mm -hmm. I don't remember. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe growing up um, as child actors mm. was very... Um, informative for a sense of competition, and I feel like jealousy and competition do kind of go um, hand sure, in hand sure, in a sure, lot sure, of ways. Sure, sure, sure. Because um, being constantly compared to other girls mm -hmm. from, uh, I mean, I think you started younger than me. I started when I was seven. Mm. Like from that Six, age on yeah. is gross. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, to yeah. and and yeah. for it to be so much of acting. Um, especially when you're a kid because you're fitting into a family or whatever is the way that you look. Mm -hmm. So to just 
no, like to be constantly told that you're the wrong look. Yeah. Even if they're not saying you're ugly or you're this or that is just like really damaging for an undeveloped mind. Do you remember ever hearing anything when you were a kid about, God, now this is interesting because then we can go into the appearance side of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, (laughs) Do you remember ever being a kid and hearing something about like your appearance affecting um, a role? I have an example um, because of Win Dixie. Oh, my! I was up for that too. <laughs> oh my god! Um, Neither I, of us got it. I did a director session. I don't know if you got that far. Oh, I didn't. Oh, um, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. So, so I got I got a call from. So my mom was like hounding my agent. She was like, "Why is Jeanette not gone in on this? Like everybody's gone in on this, whatever." And yeah. I was like, "My mom got back this message, and I quote: um, They do not want to see Jeanette because they want an ethereal beauty. Jeanette is Jeanette reads more homely." You got that message? I got that message. When you were I was ten, nine years nine? old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's and not they fun let to hear. You read that? That's not, yeah, yeah. So, Wait, um, can I just say that I too have been called homely? <laughs> <laughs> and the one, when you said, have you had a damaging experience? Um, it happened later in life. It happened at 21. Okay. So I went to this acting school. I yeah. won't name names, but text me and I'll tell you. <laughs> um, and um, so basically when you meet the acting teacher, it's insane. She's on her computer and she's taking notes um, on you doing a scene. Right? While you're doing a scene? Mm-hmm. You're like reading it. She's like on her computer, like taking intense notes. Okay. Um, and she's known for this. This is like, that's just what she does when she meets people. She likes, and basically she keeps it on file as her like first impressions of people so that if people leave the studio and come back years later and she doesn't know where to place them, she can just (laughs) look and like jog her memory. So at the, so I'd been going to the studio for like two years and, um, on the first of every month you are sent the class list Mm -hmm. with everyone's, um, phone number and address, whatever, so that you can rehearse. And it was, May 1st, um, and I was home from class because I wasn't feeling well or something, yeah. and I got the class list, and I always open it because I'm like, who's in my class? I'm mm-hmm. so excited, and she sent her notes on all of us, her first impressions of all of the members of the class, oh my accidentally, God. like her yeah, assistant yeah, 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 did it. Yeah. It was basically like she sent her burn book. And this is amazing. It was uh, the best thing in the world. It's the worst and the best. Yeah, for I mean, sure. horribly damaging right. for me. But um, fantastic. So, and she <laughs> rated us like one to five. Then, on, wait, skill? She's talking skill. Skill, appearance. Um, oh, there's multiple columns. Yeah, like to a the bunch of columns system. and gotcha. then just like a, a paragraph. Great, on you. great. And basically, um, so of course, what I did was you know, read everyone's, I compared my numbers to everyone else. Yeah. Um, and I looked at what she had said about me. And first of all, I got the second lowest appearance rating of my entire class, which I didn't think it was that bad. (laughs) Like that was a blow. Um, she ever, like other girls in the class, she was like, Oh, she is a star, gorgeous beauty, blah, 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 blah. No, my notes were like, she's worked a lot. Kind of funny looking a bit (gasps) homely. (laughs) And I was fucked up from yeah, it yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. I like funny looking and yeah. homely. Did you cry? What was your immediate reaction? Oh, I mean, you, was it like shock? It yeah, was yeah, shock. Yeah. Uh, and like texting my friends in class and being like, oh my God. And like other guys in the class, she had said, ugh, he is so gay. Like it was just like, <laughs> no. It, yeah, it was just like her, you know, it's thoughts. her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, her never is never, nobody's gonna see this, right? Right, right. right. And I mean, I won't say how they handled it because they handled it really poorly. I was very upset by it. But basically, like, later I cried. Um, I was I was so hurt because also, like, mm. 21, like, I was not where – I'm not where I am where, with, like, lo- loving my appearance I, now. But yeah, 21 yeah. was horrible for age. me. Ugh. And, yeah. And I remember, like, it. I was dating my ex and mm-hmm. um, I, like, couldn't – have sex with him Mm -hmm. because I felt ugly it was like horrible like it like Mm. seeped into other areas of my life um and also like having a a mentor tell you that like someone that I respected like my my teacher oh my god just knowing that I'm the ugliest girl in class and (laughs) it was just it was it was horrible it's it's just so hilarious to hearing this how I mean kind of bird's eye view of this conversation like Mm -hmm. looking at you while you're saying like oh I was the ugliest girl in class a stunning person saying this no 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 but but seriously hearing that and just thinking like the how messed up kind of the the world the entertainment industry can be to to people and how harsh and the things that you hear the things that it's just like how 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 is anybody supposed to be 
okay. Yeah. I mean, like, when I get a breakdown and, or when I would, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get out of it, but, like, if it would say, like, pretty or beautiful, mm-hmm. I'd be, like, not my role. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's just, like, and it never said that for guys, mm-hmm. really, at all, but it was mm-hmm. just, like, oh, well, I'm not what the industry thinks of as, you know, leading lady. Yeah. The, 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 the last, um, movie that I did before I decided acting was the worst thing that's ever happened to me Uh was, it was this movie where the description, it was like just mashed potatoes of a girl. Oh, was like in, in the stage direction, mean? like a lumpy mashed potatoes oh of a girl. And, I'm and like, you booked it? Yeah. And, but I went into the audition thing like, I have a chance. <laughs> like, yeah, I have a chance. Yeah. No, I know that so well. This is where it's like a little interesting looking or like not your normal <laughs> cup of tea. I'm like, hello, drink me up. Like, and you booked it. That's awful. I, uh, I uh, went, I had like four callbacks for a job that was um, described as a butterface. Oh my God. And I've never wanted a role less in my life. Oh my I was oh furious. Um, or it cracks me up when the, when the role of the woman, I, or, I, or woman, you know, the, it was usually, I, I got out of it before I was playing women. I've never played more than a girl, that's for sure. <laughs> but anytime I'd be like auditioning for a girl and, it, and the, the, the sole purpose of her character was to prove like how amazing the guy was Oof. for even looking Oof. in her general direction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm there. Like, knew I was going to get it. Oh, the guy's so the generous nerding. Yeah, for looking my way. Wow, okay. And that's, I mean, clearly, like, that's crazy to me, uh. seeing you, but it's just like... <laughs> Uh, so something I wanted to I wanted to like circle back from from way a while ago was blaming the woman. Um, the idea of like if we're jealous of, of a woman that our our the guy we're seeing is with or has to be whatever. Um, oh, it's not you. It's it's her. I just don't trust yeah. her because that's something that I feel. Right. I know this is like I know that this is not a thing that we're supposed to say. I know it's supposed to be. Do you actually not trust the girl? I mean, that's what I want. That's what I'd love to talk out with you because I think I think right now too, it's like the narrative. The, the, it's supposed to be women supporting all women, right? Love that. It's like <laughs> supposed to be just raw, raw. We rock. Love we each other. Lo- we are so. I just want us to succeed. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's just what is it? Bolster each other. Fill up the room with women. Pom poms. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're a goddess. All that kind of shit. Divine feminine. <laughs> and I, I just think like. Uh, well, you know, I think, I mean, obviously it's a two way street. It goes both ways. And I have, I, I, I trust, um, Ari completely with a little, you know, with, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with a dial as, as much as exactly as, as said earlier, I can't ever will be able mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. as with, with that shred of doubt, but trust him as, as much as I feel I can at this moment. Um, but there's a part of me that's like, this is how I position it to him. I trust that you are not going to like engage with a woman in a, in any sort of a inappropriate, inappropriate way and uh, whatever. But I, I don't trust that she's not going to put her hand on your knee. Mm, oh. I don't trust that she's not going to like hug you a little too long and like happen to breathe in your ear and like move her shoulder in a way that gets her perfume whiff to go just in your nose in a way that's like uh, threatening to yeah. me. And I think, and it's, and it's like, it's this weird combination of, of not trusting women and also knowing that there's like some degree of, of, I guess, manipulation slash game that goes into making a man like fall for you that I feel like we know so well. Yeah. And the effort that goes into that, that's like, well, we don't do it with every guy. We do it with the guys that we like. So if a guy, if a, if a woman likes him, then she's going to do the, the, the tricks that we know that the Mm -hmm. guys don't, I feel like fully know or can't fully tell. Some of them can, you know, but, Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, this is this is this is where my head's at. Where, what were you gonna say? Um, I have a question. Yeah. Do you want to mention cheating or no? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's get, let's get um, in there. I think that it. So I have been with someone who has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh wow, that sucks. I'm so sad about it. Uh, you know, that's 18, my first 18 years old. Like, yeah. oh right, your my first, first relationship had a girlfriend. Had a girlfriend. Yeah. Um. um and so I think that what we've spoken about is like knowing that we have the power to find even a good guy with a girlfriend mm-hmm. and persuade him away or whatever mm-hmm. and how that fills some kind of wound in us and like makes us feel important and, and special Oof. and worth the risk. So awful. Which is just horrible. Um, wow. And so then when you see a good guy do that or something and then you're dating a good guy and you know that the power of a woman mm. somehow 
can make a man cheat, mm. um, there's that just like distrust of mm-hmm. women because it's like this unspoken language mm. that I think all women know, especially yeah. like intellectual, funny, smart, you know, just like yeah, 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 just yeah. great quality yeah. ladies. <laughs> A-grade um, women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that I gladly group us into. <laughs> um, but there's just something like we just know okay. how to do it. Like yeah, you yeah, just yeah. know how to do it. And so there is mm-hmm. that fear, I think, mm-hmm. um, of like, if he talks to another woman who knows how to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't know. There's that. But then part of me, like, a big part of me is just, like, I used it as such a big excuse. Whereas, like, I don't really know if I didn't trust the other woman. Because, like, Mm -hmm. it is a really big deal to make someone cheat. Right, right, right. Like, to be in a place, not that it's all on the woman for the man cheating. Like, sure, sure. You know, of course, like it's of definitely course. the dude's fault. Right, I mean, right. Everyone's at fault. I don't know. But, I, oh, so basically, I just don't think that all women are out here, like, trying to find guys with girlfriends and, like, snatch oh my them God. away. No, 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 Like, no, no, when no, I no, find no, out no, someone, no, if no. when I find out a guy has a girlfriend, I get stoked that I might have a friend. Mm. Because, oh, my God, like, uh, it, I don't like 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 not. I don't to, trust that. What? I wouldn't trust that. It's, it's really yeah. Like I, I no. I love like I have a few guy friends who have girlfriends, and yeah, I feel yeah. so safe because I'm just like you're not trying to fuck me. Mm. Like this is so great that we can just be friends. There's not going to be anything weird. You know, I don't know. But I then, just I love that. See, so then here, this is so maybe then this goes back to not trusting men because my mind's like, of course they want to fuck you. Of course, maybe not. Of <laughs> court. Mm. Of course. <laughs> I don't know. From the outside, if I were watching, but they're if I were not watching gonna... this play out, like yeah. just from the sidelines, just through glass, I'd be like, mm-hmm. Oh, this friendship. So, so you don't think that, <laughs> this is such a cliche, but like you don't think that guys and girls can just, like. I, I think rare, there are rare cases. That's and I so think, sad. And I think there has to be no attraction. I think if there's any degree of attraction, it's like a slippery slope you're what walking if, on there. What if, because I just thought of, I have a couple straight guy friends yeah. who are into me, but I'm not into them, and they know nothing's ever going to happen, so we're just going to be friends. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. those exist. Yeah. Um, and, like, the few friends that I have with girlfriends, like, I have never felt anything creepy. But mm. maybe it's also because I know the girlfriend. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, hey, we're good here. Did you meet them through their girlfriends, or had you met them no, before their girlfriends? I met them before their girlfriends. So you you do not believe in in blaming the woman you you believe she's rarely to blame like what how do where do you stand um, on that whole thing like because i think I I just think i'd love to think that like i don't know i feel like if you're gonna cheat with someone it's not gonna be someone that your girlfriend knows like it's gonna be like a random right right sneaky, right, right. Sneaky sure. thing sure. so if it's sure. like it's not gonna be your friend i just don't think that that's you know what I mean? Yeah, but I guess I guess what I'm trying to trying to figure out is because because of how the narrative is now of women having to support all women, I feel mm-hmm. like it's not okay for us to say like sometimes women suck. Oh no, that's totally but I th- true, r- right? But like there is there is that, and I think I I mean I have super sucked. You know, it, uh, like when I think of the, the my first relationship and and that whole thing. Like I said, I regret it so much for for just what it was, but also for my actions in it and and the 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 shame that I felt from the beginning and and I mean he he and I were doomed from the beginning because yeah. of how we started and and it's I, I I guess I know that I've been the type of woman that I'm judging so it yeah. feels maybe it feels more okay or it feels like I have permission to judge that but I but I don't think it's 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 right to just be like well, well women are are you know they they're great and and well that's just not true because, because right. I think what we're missing is like women are just people mm, right. Like to, right right to define them on their sex or their gender is pointless like men are gonna suck women are gonna suck that's that's just how it is so maybe it's this it's like you know earlier you said the thought of like what did what did he do right you we were talking about this kind of territory of where if if people are kind of more apt to blame the woman that you'll think like well what did he do which is something i very much relate Uh on we're all oh yes okay yeah we're all think if somebody if some if if somebody says like the crazy ex-girlfriend right this is what you said um that's also my thought of i mean there's i have actually had a lot of guy friends who will be talking about like oh yeah i broke up with her she's crazy yeah and and the thought really is what did you do what did you you know most of the time 
guys have a way, I think, mm -hmm. and I feel horrible for so like massive generalizations, sure. Yeah, sure. but I think guys have a way of like driving us crazy. Insane. Yeah, 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 well, it's yeah. just like there are like nice ways to treat people. And I yeah. think that guys are so afraid of just having honest conversations that they leave us no choice but to kind of spiral when they're not being communicative. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. I'm thinking of this thing of like guys maybe having get, catching a whiff of a woman's emotionality and being scared of that. Uh, uh. So then trying to position things in a way that will be sensitive to the woman in a like kind of walking on eggshells type of way that then we catch a, we know is happening. So then we're like, well, what's happening? Why are they being secretive? Why are they being weird? We can sense that energy shift immediately. Yeah. So then we'll kind of pry a little bit and then usually it, something comes out that makes us more uncomfortable and then it's like, well, why are you keeping that a secret? Why, oh, you know, you know, that kind of I thing. I hate when guys, <laughs> uh, I call it lying. They call it omitting the truth. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I hate when they like don't tell us something because the full story. Yeah, because they think we'd be upset. And then it's a bigger deal. Like say that they were at a party and their ex was there mm -hmm. and like they don't mention it mm -hmm. or something and then it comes out later and they're like, Well, why didn't you tell me? And then they're like, Well, I didn't want you to like freak out. And it's like, mm -hmm. Well, so there's something to freak out about, is what you're saying. Right, and right. It's almost like it adds legitimacy to the thing that they're trying to right, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. But then I also think to give a point to the to the men, it's like also, nine times out of ten, the thing that he would, that the guy, these, I'm, you know, the, uh, there's nobody specific that I'm thinking of, yeah. which is like exes in general. If I find out something that he didn't want to tell me because he was trying to protect my feelings because he didn't want me to be upset, mm -hmm. the truth is that I would have been upset. Oh, like 100%. completely. Right? But do you ever say, I wouldn't have been upset at all. And now that place? you didn't tell me, now I'm now, upset. So right, I'm upset right, that you right, didn't right, tell right, me. Right. I'm not upset that it happened. Right. And you are upset that it happened. Right, right, right. And, I th and then that perpetuates the cycle because then they don't know. Then they're just like, what the fuck what is going on? Where? Do? How am I supposed to what, navigate this in the future? And then they don't know. And then they're stumbling again. And then I think it's hard for, I think that once men know that there is um, a... Light at the end of the tunnel. Um, no, once men know that there is something that could cause upset they freak out mm -hmm. and like start like walking into walls and like mm -hmm. don't know how they so badly don't want to start an argument or, or a, something being uncomfortable that they make it worse which is nice it's like yeah we don't want that either yeah no one's no one well i don't yeah no one's wanting to wanting to fight over here okay we're wrapping up here but w one other thing i wanted to to talk about was um appearance and how and mm -hmm. how slash if that ties into jealousy do you think that that's a factor in in oh my jealousy? god yeah i yeah of course mm. like i think body image is a huge thing like for me personally yeah um i'm like very like slender yeah and i don't I like have a lot of curves yeah um and so like growing up in a time where curves are so celebrated yeah uh, which is amazing um but it's not actually body inclusivity because it's like real women have curves okay what am mm, i mm, mm. um i find that i'm very insecure about mm. girls who just have like voluptuous yeah like, just like curvy uh, like you know big old titties yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know <laughs> yeah. what else to say yeah, but yeah, like yeah. that's something that I'm definitely like constantly uh it drives me insane because I'm just like well I'm looking at her boobs because they're enormous so mm -hmm. this means that he's looking at their boobs which mm -hmm. are enormous which means that he wants nothing more than An to enormous cuddle boob. those <laughs> huge boobs that mm -hmm. I will never be able to offer them because mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. like there's so much that we can try to adjust about our personality or like mm -hmm. this or that or or like trying new interests. If, you know, the guy that you like is really into this, you mm -hmm. can go do that with them. You cannot change without a lot of money the way you <laughs> the way you look. You know what I mean? And, and so it's a lot just of something. Regret, usually, yeah. I feel like like yeah. there's just something that is I feel so powerless um, mm, about with appearance. And like I find so many women so beautiful yeah. that I like. I'm like, well, you'd be insane if you didn't think she's beautiful right, and she right, looks right, nothing right. like me. Right. I, I, it's an endless, just a g great way right. to feel horrible about yourself. For sure. I, I always, I, I forget whether I've, I've talked with you about this before, but I think like it would be easy. I feel like, and this is again, me pinning my jealousy on like just finding excuses for jealousy mm -hmm. probably, but thinking like, oh, well, if I was hotter, 
I wouldn't have You'd be more secure. I'd be like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, that's of course like, he loves but me. That's Whatever. such a lie. Right. But then it's also like, oh, well, if I was less attractive, also it would be easier because it'd be like, it's, you know, there's he loves no, you for you. He is here. <laughs> warts and all yeah 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 oh my god there's I think we've talked about yeah, like, yeah, yeah we are painfully like somewhere in the middle of the like beauty standard sure where uh like like what like what we've been talking about it's like look we we're not gross by any means but we don't like if we were starting our careers today as Instagram models I don't think we would succeed also side note the guy that I've been hanging out with told me that he made out with an Instagram model on New Year's oh, and I god. Had nothing to say. Yeah, but yeah, I created yeah, yeah, what she looked like in my mind, and there's never been a more beautiful person. Oh, I'm, I'm envisioning She's her stunning. right now. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. Love her. Um, <laughs> I might follow her. What if I did? That would be crazy. Okay. Do you know who this person is? No. no I okay. don't want to. Okay. Good. I'm oh, getting, I love that. No, I'm getting to the point. Wait. That's yeah. great. I love that. Yeah. I, um, something that's different about uh, Jeanette and myself is that um, Jeanette does not want to know about the past of right. the guys because I don't want I don't want this to happen. <laughs> Do you know what right. I mean? You don't want to spiral. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. And I'm more like uh, masochistic, I guess. I don't know. Like <laughs> I just I at the beginning of a relationship because also I love talking about my exes because I have some hilarious stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just comes up. They're funny. Like, are you ever trying to make your partner jealous? By never. About, oh, just oh, never. It's just like oh my god, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. Hope, sure. like. <laughs> <laughs> I apparently love my own stories, but I think I have a, a so much to offer mm-hmm. on crazy things that happened with my crazy exes mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. that are very uncomfortable for the person listening. Like some of them are very sexual or this mm-hmm. or that, but I don't care. It can't make you upset because it's in the past. I don't care about my exes. Mm-hmm. It's just a funny story. Um, and so then I open the door to let them start talking about their exes. I catalog their names in my head. I like mm-hmm. find them all on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I find out like I find out way too much. Like I know like, it's so interesting the to me. sex yeah, yeah. that they've had, like the kind of sex that they've had or like places that they've had sex. I know like But it doesn't help anything. This doesn't is it, it, No, and I just details, think it's like right? I, right. But at the beginning when they're telling me, I'm like, oh that's you know, like you can just share with me and then I get to know like what were some hard things you went through mm. or fun things like, oh, that sounds so fun. And sometimes there's like mm. a, you know, a, a fun element to it in the moment where like, I'm just, I need this information. Yeah. And then later on down the line, I burn them with these <laughs> facts. Are you feeling, are you feeling jealousy? Are you feeling, what are you feeling when it's happening in the moment? Like this really, um, a lot of pain that like feels good. In pain a that feels, way. what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm like feeding a gross part of me. Pain that feels good. So it's like, I, I, it's just I'm like, it's confused. like you have to tell me more and I wish that you would stop, but I won't let it. I like, I won't show it. It's, it's, it's a compulsion. It's is it like, is it might be a compulsion. Some sort of, it's so interesting. It's to just me. like something that I need to know. Um, because I because know how much it'll upset me. And like, there's some part of me that like needs to be hurt or not feel good enough. Now we're getting into like dark like, yeah, yeah, therapy yeah, yeah, yeah. territory, but um, there's just some part of me that like needs to feel like shit. Um, I on don't a know. day-to-day basis or just in particular times? No, just at particular times. Just like, I don't know. Like it's stuff that, mm. and so basically I'm mm. finally getting to the point where maybe I don't want to know because I know that I'll spiral. I'll know that like, yeah, I have the faces of so many girls that I don't know in my head and like how beautiful they are or how they're well, so different than me and how they, and like, oh, the thought of them being intimate with them is Sickening. Yeah. My vagina just clenched. I'm, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like closed up. Dry, uh, <laughs> dry as it. What's that it's Rihanna shut song? Down. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, dry um, as a bone. Yes, sing. <laughs> I don't know it. Um, that was so pretty. <laughs> I love your falsetto. Bring it back. Raise the keys in your one woman show again. <laughs> we need it. Um, but. The pieces yeah. of the beautiful women. Oh yeah, and it's just it's a montage of them and your a montage. Like I know they're all clasping of their hands, they're names. running through daisies, <laughs> yeah. they're wearing sundresses, their hair is shining, they have their the perfect so light. Pretty. They're um, all getting along. They're just playing patty cake. In fact. <laughs> they are. They're playing but and they're like, <laughs> with with the guy's dick. Like I don't know. Oh my they, god, like, love his penis so they're much. They're stroking. He's in the center of all of them. They're in a semicircle <laughs> around him, and they're, they're like all giggling. Rares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so upset. 
<laughs> but yeah, so I don't do know. You why. Do you feel it right now? Are you feeling no? I'm how, a how are you sad. Right? Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I feel terrible. No, no, it's like it's okay. good to talk about it because I realize and I hope that like how much it pushes on on buttons. Yeah, and I hope that like wow. if anyone is listening and like has this, I hope that I'm not alone in doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because it is just like so weird and like bizarre, and and I think I'm finally mm-hmm. getting to a point where like. I don't want to know because I'm it's I'm tired mm-hmm, and I'm mm-hmm. tired of feeling sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of knowing these random girls. Yeah. And like having to uh, I don't know. I feel you. I it's feel just, you. It's pointless, but I wish that I didn't collect the information. Um and actually, you know what? The I was seeing this guy a while ago and and um I never asked really about anything he talked Long-term about. Long-term thing? Uh no. Okay. Um he talked about his recent ex a lot, um, mm-hmm. but I don't even know her last name, and thank God I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. don't know about any of his past, and, yeah. like, I never had any issues. That's amazing. Like, we, I never – maybe we didn't date long enough for there to be issues, but, like, I – it was great not knowing because it was it's so irrelevant mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like that's it, the it, thing like, it, 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 it has is. no it bearing is. on our relationship at all which is kind of i think a huge overarching thing that that i want to put out there as we because we have been talking about, about such specific stuff and such a mm-hmm. such a narrow like aspect of our personalities and our lives mm-hmm. right like yes. so <laughs> yet it can sound it's it's so it's like it excessive like it's we both, all we are right, right yeah we're just these like jealous green like monsters and we just um, hang out with each dripping other jealous. So jealous. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right 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 but i think that it's like it's this thing that we want to change it's this thing we want to work on and it's and it's also a thing that is not talked about enough people aren't talking about like jealousy in in any sort like i it's no. i don't see it talked about i don't hear it talked about i see uh, like you know to touch back on like the it's women supporting all women it's like no this mm-hmm. is this is something that exists something that i think should be talked about in a really casual way in a way that's like it's so shameful yeah like, yeah 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 like, yeah even we were talking about it with a group of friends of like a week right, or two ago right. and just i i knew that like one of the girls we were with was a very jealous person mm-hmm. but when asked in a group setting she said she didn't get jealous mm-hmm. and it was just like I don't know why it's so, it's just like mm-hmm. no one talks about it. Or you talk about it as like, I'm jealous of one thing, but not like I. The thing that it's okay to be jealous about. Yeah, like, oh my God, I'm jealous of like her, her shoes. Yeah, oh like my outfit. God, yeah, love I the, have that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not talked about. Like, it's one of the seven deadly sins, <laughs> right? Like, it, it, like, at one point, people were talking about it enough to know that it's like <laughs> life ruining and, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. horrible. Wow. And I do think like it, it is mm-hmm. the worst it's the worst, I think the worst thing about me. All right, I think it's same the, for me. the thing I hate mm-hmm. most, the thing that I wish I didn't have. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. There's no, there's literally no positive thing that has come out of my jealousy. I just have a catalog of girls <laughs> in my mind and I know their favorite sex positions for some reason. <laughs> so that's great. I think it's been so, I, I hope it's been somewhat helpful talk both talking today and our and our conversations in general i it, yeah. it's hugely helpful for me i um i love talking with you and i i i think conversations like this should happen more often of just like opening up about these shameful areas and 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 being honest about these things that we don't like yeah. we're not saying they're okay there's no part of us that's no like, we're not mm. celebrating it yeah yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, there yeah. Is, there is a there's a reality and there. there's a comfort in knowing that other people go through it and that like even in talking, since we've been talking about jealousy, mm-hmm. like you've told me stories of when it's come up for you and mm-hmm. you've been able to acknowledge it as um, an emotion, mm-hmm. like not not grounded in any sort of reality. Yeah. And then figuring out how to work through those emotions, whether it's like talking to Ari about it and thinking like, why did I feel this? I know that you weren't right. hitting on a 70-year-old woman. <laughs> Um, you know, so just like th- things like that. I think that it's like That's when you're able, story. yes, it is. Um, when you're able to acknowledge it, give it less power and then really dissect it. <laughs> right. It, it's the only way that you can push through forward it because I've even felt it. like I've gotten better in the last few months. Yeah. I'm um, just in, in talking to you. Yeah. Cause it's so, I, I know I keep saying this, but like, it's so stupid. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's 
it's pointless. I the episode should be called Jealousy is so, so stupid. stupid. Listen to us talk about it for four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for, so much for doing this. Yeah, I appreciate you agreeing you. to this, especially before we even like, before Brian and I have worked out all the kinks and even know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> it's totally. very cool. I, uh, I was terrified and I think <laughs> I've sweat more in the last two hours than I have in the last two weeks. Um, but this is going to be out there. And so if anyone who's listening wants to date me, I don't get jealous. And I don't know what you're talking about. This was all a joke. And I'm a, uh, I'm a delight. <laughs>